Inflammation is another control mechanism of the body. So, of course, our body is our temple, but our temple sometimes gets invaded by foreign invaders, and the goal is to clear those foreign invaders out. We have several pathways in our body to generate inflammation, ways to stop foreign invaders, bacteria, viruses, fungi, parasites. Inflammation is essential to life. You can't live if you don't generate a good inflammatory response. So, you need inflammation, but inflammation turns your body away from growth and toward burning. You increase your burning rate, and the reason we know that is because you increase your body temperature. How else can you generate an increased body temperature unless you're burning at a higher rate? The difference is you're not making ATP out of it. You're just making body heat. Now, that's great for trying to fight off the invader. It's not great for you. It's a source of aging, and it's a source of early death. So we have to control inflammation. So the question is, where's the inflammation coming from? Now, if you have an autoimmune disease, it's coming from your immune system recognizing something is foreign. But, you know, only about one in 10 people have an autoimmune disease. Yet, nine out of 10 people have inflammation. So where's the rest of the inflammation coming from? It's coming from the gut. It's coming from your intestine. It's coming from where the bacteria are. And the bacteria are all throughout your intestine. Your intestine is a sewer. It's a pipe with junk in it. <laughs> and that junk makes inflammatory cytokines. It makes lipopolysaccharides. It makes stuff that is bad for you. And it needs to stay in the intestine. So your intestine has developed three barriers to keep the junk where it belongs. It has a physical barrier called the mucin layer, which lines all the intestinal cells to keep the junk inside, not in your bloodstream. It has a biochemical barrier called tight junctions to keep each of the cells approximated so that junk can't get through. And finally, it has an immunological barrier to basically kill off any bacteria that might venture through the barrier and try to get into the bloodstream. All three of those barriers are under attack today. And so we, Americans, and really pretty much anybody who eats the Western diet is inflamed because of their gut, because of their diet. In order to fix that inflammation, in order to be able to utilize energy for either burning or growth, instead of just heat, we need to fix our inflammation.